rehearsal to attempt number two of the water rides. Like heading to Ireland. Yes. <laughs> so let's see if we actually get on them again. When I left, it was only a five minute wait for everything. So hopefully it still is and we can get on them. We walk fast. Yeah. Let's see. Got some dark clouds right by where the ride is. Hopefully we get on. We got some of the characters out meeting and greeting. Wolverine. I see Storm. All their bike straps, I mean, they're all somewhere around here. But we gotta run, so no time for characters. Sorry. Need my water eyes. We have made it to Toon Lagoon. The sky looks clear over here, so we should be good. Oh, I bet he poops over there. First up, Dudley Do Rights. Like, I think a lot of a lot of their rides here are like that. Really long queues. Ruling uh, dragons. Used to be. I remember yeah. just walking through that yeah. and just going like it's a mile yeah. from the entrance to sitting into a seat. But it was fun. We have our bathing suits on, so like I'm already almost dry. Yeah. So way to go. Last time I wore like a romper, and then I was walking around like a soggy mess the rest of the night. So when you're staying on property, that's good because if they're on your bathing suit, come just to do these and then leave. Next up, Popeye's barges. Woohoo! Woohoo! So when you're exiting the ride, you make a left and you can go on the Me Ship, the Olive. You can see all the people on the ride and you can wet them and let's go take a look. We have a little slide for the kiddos. Then I think over here is where you can wet people.
opposite of this ride is just everyone wringing out their clothes. And I just heard girls walking by saying like, oh, they came off wet. Like, yes, that ride you get soaking wet. Like, there's no if, ands, or buts. Don't wear sneakers. No. And if you're coming here and you plan on staying the whole day, just pack an extra change of clothes, yeah. get a cheap pair of flip-flops, and put it in a book bag. But you can bring your book, you have to bring your stuff with you on these two rides. So the only rides where they do not provide free lockers. Is there a locker? You yeah, you can pay. So you can either pay or they have to get something that is waterproof. <laughs> but people sneakers, like, they take off their shoes and jump the water. So, unless you want to walk around like that all day long, last time we were here, I brought a change of clothes because I don't like walking around these And they're not stupid here. They sell all beautiful clothing at the end of the rides, all towels, shoes, like, they know because People are willing to pay if they don't want to be wet all day. You can even pay $5 if you have any exact cash. These like blow, human blow dryers that you can stand in. And so if you don't want to be wet, you can stand in those. But That's not worth it. Just stand know. outside of Florida. Right. I don't know how quickly or well they do. So we got it done. Woohoo! Looks like we just legit made it because it's starting to rain now. The characters are kind of giving a warning, like we might be going in soon because it's starting to drizzle. We did it. We stopped back at Margaritaville because I wanted the Buffalo Bangs again. Nom nom nom. And we're sitting outside because we are still wet and it's really nice out today. Got our food and I got the wings because I liked them the last time. We're the side of French fries. Kristen got a crab cake sandwich and I had a choice between a salad or fries 